so as you have seen uh, a nucleotide is made up of three components but a dna molecule is a polymer of these deoxyribonucleotides then next question arises how different deoxyribonucleotides are joined together to make a poly polymer of dna polynucleotide so the successive nucleotides of dna are joined together through phosphodiester linkage how this phosphodiester linkage is formed and what type of uh, linkage is this let us see in this picture so in this picture you can see these two deoxyribonucleotides how they are joined this is a deoxyribonucleotide and look at this this phosphate group is attached to the 5 prime carbon of pentose sugar and this phosphate is next attached to the 3 prime carbon of the next deoxyribonucleotide so a hydroxyl group is present at this 3 prime carbon similarly another hydroxyl group is present on this phosphoric acid so these two hydroxyl groups they combine together and a water molecule is eliminated and an ester linkage is established again this is an ester linkage because you know this is an organic acid and this is alcoholic group and when an organic acid and an alcoholic group react they form an ester linkage so this ester linkage is established between pentose of one nucleotide and phosphoric acid of the other nucleotide so one nucleotide is attached with this ester linkage with the other nucleotide then why this linkage is called phosphodiester linkage because this is one ester and this is another ester so two esters and a phosphate group are included in this linkage in this whole linkage so that's why this linkage is called phosphodiester linkage so all these successive nucleotides are linked through this phosphodiester linkage so this molecule this whole molecule it is a dinucleotide so in this dinucleotide you can see this phosphate which is attached at 5 prime is again free to form ester linkage with another nucleotide similarly this hydroxyl which is present at 3 prime this is again available to make an ester linkage with another nucleotide so in this way this chain grows and it make a polynucleotide chain so look at this picture this is a polynucleotide chain and these in this picture the nucleotides are linked together through phosphodiester linkages so if a chain containing 50 or lesser than 50 deoxyribonucleotides it is called oligonucleotide chain and if this chain contains more than 50 deoxyribonucleotides this is called a polynucleotide chain so as you know dna is a polynucleotide chain so in this way a polynucleotide chain is formed